the Israeli Prime Minister's week had a promising start. A historic trip to the Holy See during a short getaway to beautiful Rome was supposed to set the tone. But as Netanyahu landed in Rome, news broke out of the publication of his residential expenses and reignited public criticism of his perceived extravagant lifestyle. And that was just the beginning. As the week unraveled, two of Netanyahu's potential political critics launched very vocal public attacks, questioning his basic abilities and judgments. First was former Prime Minister Ehud Olmert that raised his concerns over Netanyahu's aggressive public battle with the U.S. on the recently signed Geneva deal with Iran. Is the U.S. president our enemy? Is he the guy we should be fighting and humiliating? Shortly later came Netanyahu's furious response. In contrast to others, when I see that vital security interests are in danger, I will not be silent. But if that wasn't enough, yesterday the former security services director Yuval Diskin lashed out at Netanyahu's Palestinian policy and warned from the outcomes of the stalemate in negotiations. The implications of the unsolved Israeli-Palestinian conflict are far more existential for Israel's future than the Iranian nuclear program. Diskin, a longtime critic of Netanyahu's policies who is thought to be considering a political future, aimed all his arrows clearly, calling for the replacement of the current Israeli government. The coalition map in Israel and the problems of control in the Likud are making an agreement with the Palestinians impossible. Netanyahu didn't publicly respond to Diskin's comments, but his aides slammed them, calling his observations cut off from reality and briefing that he was motivated from personal frustration after being passed over for the role of Mossad chief. So it hasn't been the greatest week for the Israeli prime minister, and this was even before U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry arrived in Jerusalem for his first visit since the Geneva deal. But the meeting with Kerry was not as tense as expected, at least not outwardly. Possibly the Prime Minister's week will end on a positive note. Thank you, Prime Minister. Thank you.